Mathematics at Init College, a YouTube channel for high school mathematics education. Mathematics 3C and Mathematics 4, Swedish high school education system. Miscellaneous problems on derivatives. Hi, this is Babak. In this video, I'm going to solve the following problem for you. Consider the following polynomial p of x is equal to x to the n plus a times x to the n minus 1 plus a squared times x to the n minus 2 up to a to the n minus 1 times x plus a n where n is a natural number and a is a real number. Determine p prime of a. I recommend uh, you to pause the video at this point Try to give it a try yourself first and then come back and uh, watch the rest of the video. If you do everything correctly, the final answer that you get would be p prime of a equals to n times n plus 1 times a to the n minus 1 divided by 2. Okay. Now, let us start solving the problem. So you know that in this problem, I'm supposed to calculate the derivative of p at a given number a. So we know that to do this, I have to differentiate my polynomial first. When the differentiation is finished, I have to replace all x's in my derivative with the given number a. And then simplify the expression so that I can get this answer. Okay. The first thing that I want to do is to differentiate my function. But this is a polynomial function. Taking the derivative, differentiating it is very simple. So pre prime of x is equal to. Here I have this first term. The derivative of this is simply n, x to the n minus 1. The next term, I have a constant coefficient a multiplied by a function. So this pre, uh, multiplicative constant, I just write it down a, and I t differentiate the next term. So n minus 1 goes down, and then x to the 1 unit less, which becomes n minus 2. And then when I go to the next one, I do the same thing. But here, the constant, the multiplicative constant in a squared, so I just write a squared here, and then I differentiate this one, which becomes n minus 2 x to the n minus 3. Yes? And I can continue this and I reach to the these last two terms. Okay? So this term, let me give a little bit of a space here. Uh, I want to write the previous term as well. So if I take the, the uh, if I differentiate this, a to the n minus 1 is a constant, so I just write a to the n minus 1. The derivative of x is simply 1, so I don't need to write anything. And the derivative of a to the n, because a and n are constants, a to the n is a constant, so the derivative is 0, and I don't need to write anything here. Okay, but you know that what is the previous term here? So the previous term here is a to the n minus 2. It's instructive to write this previous term, yes? So everybody can guess that the previous term, exactly immediately before this, is a to the n minus 2 times x squared. So the previous term, when I differentiate, a to the n minus 2 is my multiplicative constant, but then I differentiate x to the 2, 2 goes down, and then I will have x. Okay? So this is my derivative. Now that the derivative is found, I need to replace x in my derivative with a, so I calculate p prime of a. Yes? So instead of x, I put a, so it becomes n a to the n minus 1, plus a times n minus 1, instead of x I put a, and then I have n minus 2 as the exponent, the next term is a squared n minus 2 a to the n minus 3 and then I will continue on to this point a n minus 2 instead of x I put a so it becomes 2a and finally there is no x in the last term so I just copy and paste the last term itself yes okay 
Now I have to simplify this a little bit. So far I have actually calculated p prime of a, but to reach to the answer given in the problem, I have to do some simplifications on this sum. Yes? It's not that hard. You see, it becomes equal. Let me simplify each term. Of course, the first term cannot be further simplified, so I just copy and paste that one. But look here, I have a here, a to the n minus 2 here. Okay, so the exponent of this a is 1, which is not written, and then I have, to, when I multiply these two, I add the exponent. So n minus 2 plus 1 becomes n minus 1. And I also have a factor of n minus 1 here, so this becomes n minus 1 a to the n minus 1. Let us go to the next term. I have here second power of a, and I have a to the n minus 3 here. Again, I am multiplying these two. The bases are the same, so I would write the same base, a. And then I add these two exponents. n minus 3 plus 2 is just n minus 1, but here my coefficient is n minus 2, so I would write n minus 2 here. Okay, and then I will continue in the same way. I will reach to this one. This a and that a will be multiplied. It gives me a to the power of n minus 1 for the same reason. Here the exponent is 1, but my coefficient here is 2. And finally, the last term cannot be simplified any further, so I just copy and paste that one. Okay, but the interesting thing that happens here is that you see in all these terms I have a to the n minus 1 in common. So I can pull that out, yes? I can factor it out so it becomes equal to. Uh, if I pull a to the n minus 1 out, only n is left from here. And then if I pull a to the n minus 1 out from here, n minus 1 survives is left actually and the next one if I take a to the n minus 1 out n minus 2 is left and if I continue this process from here 2 is left from the last one only 1 is left and I have to write a to the n minus 1 and hopefully you remember your lessons from math 1c this is the sum it's a very famous sum the sum of the numbers from the natural numbers from 1 up to n and then hopefully you remember this formula that this becomes n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and then a to the n minus 1 yes so i am using this formula that if i add natural numbers from 1 up to n, the answer is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. This is a very famous uh, formula in mathematics. And actually, 1, 2, 3 up to n form an arithmetic progression, and this is the formula for Sn for this arithmetic progression. Okay? So it means that we were able finally to show that p prime of a is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2, a to the n minus 1. Yes? Uh, okay, so I hope that the video has been useful for you. And I have used the document camera to produce this video. I would appreciate if you write me some comments below this video that do you prefer this document camera or the previous uh, videos that I made with my iPad. Okay? Until the next video, be safe and goodbye.